This is the control box for the equipment, uh, made out of a PC uh, tab box, and there's just enough room. Um, and uh, this is the PC that I use, which is a Lenovo, Lo, Lo, Lenovo ThinkPad, which seems to be adequate, very cheap, uh, reconditioned one. Just go around here and just close it, zoom in a little bit so you can see a bit more of um, the internal wirings. Up on the upper part here, I've got the drivers, and there's four of them uh, one for each axis. And I've got a X, Y, Z and A for the rotary axis and they're uh, supplied with power from the toroidal transformer which the power comes out in AC format and rather to my amazement when I got these drives they accept AC current in them so you just put in whatever this um, throws out at 60 volts or thereabouts straight in um, and it doesn't matter about the polarity uh, where where the current goes in. Um, it was rather surprising when I did that so anyway um, I had to have a mixture of different voltages around the case I've got, um, I'll just shut this for a moment, uh, there's a 12 volt power supply down in the corner here, <clears throat> a 5 volt power supply here and in tucked in the, underneath here is a 24 volt power supply because the board here requires 24 volts so it needs a 5 volt supply um, it's a um, ethernet based board so there's an ethernet cable coming out which goes into the laptop which means it's extremely fast and very stable and produces a super smooth current um, up on the top here there's the original power supply fan which is a 12 volt fan and it blows, I've ranged it so that it blows out across here at, um, um, I've got um, a grill um, the only things on the back are the sockets for the aircraft style aviation style plugs move this round to the back so you can see all those sticking out at the back and on the front get a bit further back uh, I've got an emergency button an e-stop which I can hit at the top if there's a panic over it power supply on and a light just to confirm that it's switched on um, so that the power when it comes in goes straight through to this switch and the indicator before it goes anywhere else in the board, on the board uh, but so far that all seems to work okay this is the A-axis motor uh, it's got a nice clear label on it which hopefully you can see with its details on. It is a common one that, that's sold now on the internet. Uh, the only slightly annoying thing about it is that the spigot sticking out of the end here is quite long and it has a keyway on it um, which is not so easy to accommodate with the coupler. But anyway, that's what it's got. Um, and I've yet to make the bracket up to fit onto the um, a drive. And now do a short demonstration of the um, axes moving. <coughs> this is at 100% jog speed, uh, the way I've set it up. Quite 
very, very fast. A little bit careful not to fly off the end. Do the X axis. Now the super fast movement that I've got on the Z without showing any signs of stopping may well be due to the um, gas strut that I fitted. Uh, I think that's definitely helping um, and uh, I'm really delighted with the speed with which this whizzes up and down and from side to side. Far better than I expected um, and um, really amazing. Uh, the stepper motors keep surprisingly closed loop stepper motors keep surprisingly uh, cool and um, they're not anywhere near as hot as the original stepper motors the the, the NEMA 23s that I had on my old mill um, and don't seem to be very highly stressed at all um, and that's um, really as far as I've got at the moment <laughs>